as the so-called unrestricted proof of the zero over zero L'Hopital case, and where A is contained in the open interval. Yeah, where A is somewhere in the middle of the interval, so that we can take a limit of x2 A of x equals limit of x2 A G of x equals zero. Now let L denote the limit x2 A f prime x G prime x. Then we're going to show that L equals the limit of x2 A of f x divided by G of x for x2 A. We define two additional functions, which is capital F, Capital F assumes values fx for x unequal to a and 0 if x equals a. The same can be done with the function g. We make a function capital G which assumes values g of x for x unequal to a and 0 if x equals a. Now the reason why we do this is that we create continuous functions capital F and capital G. And why are these continuous? Well the limit of fx going to x is a equals 0, which is f0. Yeah, so we create a continuous function on the complete interval. So we have the limit of x to a fx equals the limit of x to a small fx equals 0. And this is FA. Well, for the same reason, the capital G is continuous. Yeah, for exactly the same reason, the same logic applies for this function capital G. Now take some element in the open interval i and take x larger than a. Now, capital F and capital G are continuous on the closed interval AX and differentiable on I, so also differentiable on the open interval AX. And furthermore, we assume that uh, G prime is unequal to zero on AX. Or we don't assume it, we know that G prime of X is unequal to 0 on AX, so capital G prime is differentiable and has an, a, a derivative unequal to 0. Now we use the, the mean value theorem of Cauchy since we know that in AX there should be a some number C of X which depends on the right boundary X such that the F prime in Cx divided by G prime in Cx now equals the difference between fx and fa divided by the difference in function value g of x minus g of a. And this is just directly a direct application of the mean value uh, value theorem of Cauchy. But we know that f a and g of a are the same as zero, so this means that this equals f x divided by g of x. But for x unequal to a, these are just f x divided by g of x. Now we let x go to a. Yeah, so we take a right limit to a. If we do so and keep picking number c of x in this interval for x is close to a, then c of x is also close to a. So L equals the limit of x to a plus, so the right limit to a of f prime x divided by g prime of x. But this is the same as picking the number c of x in instead of x. So this is the same limit f prime c of x divided by g prime c of x, which equals in turn the limit of x to a plus of fx divided by g of x. And that's what we've just shown. So if we consider only the right 
limit the limit from the right from x to a plus then this gives the result we like to have but the same can be done for x going to a minus so by taking the left limit